Backyard Barbecues and Barbecue S. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Trying to keep this smoke out of my face on Big Bertha. Uh, I'm breaking it in, y'all. I got Smitty. He behind the camera right now. Y'all see him shortly. Uh, but uh, today's cook, we got a brisket. We got a uh, Boston butt. We got a, what we have? What else got? A roast, roast beef. I'm doing, I'm doing an old, old pomaine brisket for all of us that can't pay $70 when you want to taste the beef in our mouths. <laughs> Yeah, so check that out. We got a, uh, another piece of meat coming on there. We'll show you how that how that look before we put it on the grill. Um, right now, we're just practicing, y'all. So stay tuned. We're going to do videos to show you the ingredients we use. And we're going to talk about them on the video so y'all can see them. Obviously, with the brisket, I use salt, pepper, and garlic. Um, and like I said, once we get it down to the science again, you know, a little rusty right now. Um, just cooking different meats that I didn't have uh, the pleasure of going to the store to buy the last year. But it's all good. But... Uh, we're gonna go in now. Everything's in the refrigerator right here. Actually, let me show you real quick what we got going on, so you can see. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there you go. Got the Boston butt on the bottom. Y'all know my fabulous sprayer right here. That go uh one of the briskets and then uh the other piece of meat is down there in one of the drawers. So. Stay tuned, y'all. Hey, we even got some uh, some of these. I got a couple videos on these. Let me show you these. These beef fingers. Uh, hard to find these jokers, man. Hard to find them. You see that price? The price went up twice the price since I left. And then uh, we got some sausage up here. Uh, since everybody in the refrigerator right now. I uh, got some Georgia smoked sausage, man. I don't know if I'm putting them on. Might just do it just for finger food. Killing time. Uh, but stay tuned, y'all. Uh, oh, yeah, that was Smitty right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so stay tuned, y'all. I got to move these vehicles out of the way because it's in my way. But uh, on a serious note, like I said, stay tuned, y'all. Uh, we're going to like do the brisket, uh, the po' man brisket. We're going to do a pork butt. We're going to get this thing cracking, y'all. The grill's already up the temp, about 225. I'm going to let it hover for about another 10 minutes, man, just to make sure my temps are maintaining. Note it. Hey, keep that in mind, y'all. When y'all lighting the grill, don't just assume that's because it's at the temp that you want it, that you can throw your meat on there and it's going to stay there. Uh, depending on what meat you're putting on there, like pork butt is forgiving, right? So when you put a piece of meat on your grill, your temperature going to drop if it's coming straight out of the refrigerator. So key note, key point, uh, keep in mind that if you take your meat out and let it sit out for maybe 30 minutes before you put it on, it'll be almost room temperature so you can put it on the grill. That'll minimize your time if you're using a smaller grill to keep your grill uh, 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 at the same temperature as that. But if you just take it straight out of the refrigerator you, you, and you're at 225, the thing probably dropped to 175 for a while before it build up. So if you're using a smaller grill like a Weber kettle or a Smoky Mountain Weber, the uh, the, uh, the pellet kind, uh, you want to go up to maybe 300 and then throw it on there to drop down about 225 and then it should hover where you want it. But you got to be a master at controlling these things right here, these dampers. Got to be a master at that. If you don't, Cook pork butt till you learn it. That, that's a cheap piece of meat that you ain't gotta mess around. You know, it's forgiving, like I said. Too much smoke, you ain't doing nothing but chopping it up anyway, making a, a pulled pork sandwich. So, like I said, stay tuned. We're gonna get, get greasy and uh, we're gonna cook on this thing, man. Try to try to get it back to where we had it before I left. And then uh, we're gonna do y'all some uh, some awesome videos on content when it comes to uh, what ingredients we use with different things. So, stay tuned, y'all. Hey, what's up, barbecues and barbecue ass, man? We back, man. We got a uh, Boston butt right here. We got a brisket right here. Uh, I think it was a 12, maybe 12 pounder. We chopped up a little bit, take some of the fat off. Then we got another, uh, as he called, a homemade brisket. We're gonna throw in this grill real quick. Make them homemade burnt ends. Yeah. I got a pan here I'm using for my drip pan, so y'all bear with me. As I throw these on. I think I'm gonna cook fat side up this time. Yeah. Cause I got a drip pan I'm putting on there. No, no, no. Yeah. There you go. I got my handy drip pans over here. I'm using to catch this juice. Oh, do pass out of it. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me get y'all a up close and personal. Yeah. There we go. 
There we go. Tell us what that poor man on Frisky like. Hey, you for know, cheap folk. For cheap folks, you know, us that can't pay seventy dollars every week, you go put a brisket on, and you be eating brisket for the next three weeks by yourself. Um, <laughs> by yourself, since red meat is bad for you now. But um, right here, small little chuck, man. I be seeing people online say they do their chuck, they they take that um that right that chuck round, and they say they cut it up and cute make burnt ends. So today, if they doing it. Why can't we? So that's what we're doing today. You know what I'm this ain't gonna take as long to cook as everything else. But look at that crust on it though. Thing, look at that thing right there. I'm putting it like this. That's just salt, pepper, and garlic, y'all. Yeah. So again, she a small piece to put on the top rack. Do it just like you do a brisket. No different. It's, a, it's beef. Tough beef, working muscle, just like brisket is. Everyone know how where the brisket come from? From the chest. So it's, a, it's a peck. Everyone know how the body works. So on a cow, that's his peck. That's his working muscle. Tough. So, tough. So y'all cooking for a while. And that chuck roast, you know what I'm saying? That's another working muscle, so hey, let's see what happens. Put these yeah. working muscles to use. Yeah, yeah. Let me show y'all something real quick. I know y'all been wondering what all my tools look like. Bam! Got my Flowmaster sprayer from Home Depot. I can't find another one around here. Probably somewhere in one of one of my multitude of baskets around here, but uh, got a new one. I think I paid about eight dollars for this thing, man. Clean it out, let it sit overnight. I use that to spray my meat, and ain't number apple juice in here, right? So there you go. Uh, do that to, to spritz to keep the meat from drying out. We brined it last night, both of them, so it shouldn't dry out at all. But we're gonna see y'all. So we'll be back. Uh, maybe like three hours. Let y'all see what it look like. We'll be back. Uh, Smitty right here. We about to check this oh, meat. Yeah, man. Uh, this been at the two hour mark. Let me show y'all. Let y'all see this. Just real quick. Like I said, this brisket and uh, Ooh, look at that, that bark starting to fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got that handy sprayer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See that apple juice. He got a semi auto automatic form right now. Uh -huh. just, we just do this right here just to keep the uh the uh keep it from drying out from the outside in. Yeah, go ahead, spritz it. Yeah, yeah. You definitely want to uh, uh let it cook. We doing these like every two hours, man. And the reason why is like see how he's pressing. You don't want the season to go run off when we're doing it. So it's yeah. starting to bake in. Uh, you can see the little little juice is dripping out. Uh, of course, that's apple juice too. Really. Yeah. But uh, we'll be back, man. Just like two hours into it, we'll be back, y'all. All right, everybody. Happy President Day. See, I got my, my main man on right now. Oh, George G. Washington. Number one, first one did it. Oh. So right now. All right. My my roast is at um 165. So now it's time what everyone else will do the wrap. But for us, since I'm doing burnt ends right now, we're going to cut him up. Bark look good. Hold on, let, let me see that right there. Got a little smoke ring in there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, it's there. It's there. It's there. It is. Yeah. There you go. Now everybody knows what against the grain. I made a bad mistake on that one already. Let me see if you stay together. Yeah, you, huh. gotta do, you gotta do it before they get tender. Yeah. A lot of folks like to cut them before they cook. I don't like to do that though. Uh -huh. So that beef, that's beef will take a while for it to render and break down. Uh -huh. So if you cut it up, so you're going to be sitting, you got to keep that thing in like in yeah. a pan of juice or something, odd yeah. juice or something. Anyone wonder what I'm using right now? And this right here is pretty much a raisin in my hand. Probably for serving food on, but yeah. Came out one of my knife blocks, but I love this thing because I do everything with it. And when you're cutting, meat like this, I like to hold on to it. Yes. Yeah, it's getting tender. Huh? Oh yeah. It's gonna be tender when I put it back in here with our favorite sauce. That blade is short. Uh-huh. It ain't tanned up. That's how you know you got your bag, you got your double blade, you grab your piece of beef. Especially when these working muscles. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Perfect key. I want you on that now, man. You want one? Nah, I'm going to wait. Okay. Ain't going to take much longer. Trying to be greedy. I know the saying, if you look in there, I ain't cooking. I know we still got that brisket in the uh, pork butt on there. Yeah. Uh, still dripping that grease off. Y'all can see it. Uh, the, all the juice from the fat. Turn over that a little bit so you can see that. Dripping in the, in the pan. Plus it's keeping the bottom of my grill from uh, easy to clean them bands than it is the bottom of that grill grate. Cause I gotta uh, take all the racks out and then scrub it with like a paint scooper. Uh, yeah, that's a pain in my side. Especially if you're doing it yourself. So, got a smoke ring on there? Oh yeah, that's all we're doing, this ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. You can tell what the smoke was hitting good on these edges. A nice little bark on it too. Yeah, real good bark. Like again, just just back in the lab. This is first time running. Mm -hmm. Everybody else got a everybody else got a video out though. So why can't we? Yeah, I saw somebody the other day. Uh, I ain't call no names out there in the barbecue world. Uh, somebody the first time doing some uh, a pork belly burn in. You know, I was laughing because you know I've been did that. Oh yeah, we've been. But, uh, hell yeah. We're not hey, about that. I don't hate on nobody. Do your thing, man. I salute you. I'm, I'm a subscriber. Oh, uh, I would assume you a subscriber of mine. Show that to the game. God, but she was so pretty. Look at her though. Uh. It's too hot. Just yeah, get to the dog. Yeah, boy, that's a that's a morsel right there. Gravy train hey, no putting it. Hey, don't, 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 gravy don't, train no putting it like that out. Can't, can't take no more L's like that. Brisket or no brisket, it's still beef. Yeah. Yeah, close up. I know everybody else like using pans and everything like that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What are we doing today? There we go. You gonna put a little juice in that way? Put a little bit. I should have put some. We could have went to brown sugar, but it's got no brown sugar in it. I'm gonna wrap them all back up. Do a little toss. Every morsel get a piece. You gotta, you gotta double wrap that side. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, everybody, just let you know I'm slow, but y'all know I'm one of the baddest cooks out here in the world. I'm just putting it out there. Marvin Mix and look out. I don't care who go tell him. Oh, Myra Mix. Hey, Myra coming up, you know. Hey, I just said that on another video. That's funny. Yeah, you know. I am getting my YouTube up. I know it's been a long time. Everything come in due time. <laughs> I know D gonna have jokes on my back turn. It's okay though. I like it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear it in your voice. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for all the subscribers all talking junk. Like he can't, he can't get me on a YouTube page. He must can't read. I know he from Alabama. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm just a camera right now. Uh -huh. Oh, nope. Oh, oh, almost lost the camera, y'all. Oh, hey. Y'all hit me crying on me. See? Don't be making fun of me all the time. Oh, you ain't put no juice in there. You ain't gonna put none in there? I ain't gonna put none in there. All right. I'm gonna do what it do. Make a steam cook. Put on this end down here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm gonna pump that fire. Yeah, I'm gonna pump it up. It's all good. All right, everybody. That's it. Yep, yep. We'll be back, y'all.